In this video, we're focusing on the topic of communication and collaboration. We'll be exploring simple digital services that can help you participate more fully in society, as well as identifying appropriate digital technologies that can empower you as a citizen. This video is designed to help you navigate the ever-changing landscape of digital communication and collaboration. So, sit back, Relax, and let's explore the exciting world of digital technology together. As migrants and refugees seek to integrate into new communities, developing digital skills and digital literacy is very important. Fortunately, there are many simple digital services available that can help them participate in society and connect with others. Some of the most important digital services for migrants and refugees include online banking, ride-hailing apps, food delivery apps, fitness apps and video conferencing apps. Yes, this sounds strange but let us explain. Online banking is an essential tool for managing finances, transferring money, and paying bills, especially for those who may be new to the area or don't speak the language. Ride-hailing apps, such as Uber or MyTaxi, provide a convenient and safe way to get around, while food delivery apps, such as Just Eat offer an easy option for trying new cuisines. Fitness apps, such as MyFitnessPal help migrants and refugees to stay active and healthy, and video conferencing apps, such as Zoom and Microsoft Teams allow them to connect with loved ones and participate in online events. So, how can these tools help develop digital skills and digital literacy? Well, these digital services can help migrants and refugees develop their digital skills by providing practical opportunities to use and navigate digital technologies. For example, using online banking requires knowledge of how to navigate and use online platforms, while ride-hailing apps and food delivery apps require downloading and using mobile applications. By using these services, migrants and refugees can gain familiarity with digital technologies and develop their digital skills. Furthermore, many of these services require the ability to read and understand written instructions, which can help improve digital literacy skills. For example, using fitness apps may require reading and following workout instructions, while video conferencing apps may require understanding how to join and participate in online meetings. By using these services, migrants and refugees can improve their digital literacy and become more comfortable with digital technologies, which can lead to increased participation in society and greater empowerment. By identifying and utilizing these simple digital services, migrants and refugees can participate more fully in society, feel more at home in their new community, and ultimately empower themselves through digital literacy and skills. Congratulations on learning about the digital services and technologies that can empower migrants and refugees to participate more fully in society. If you would like to further your knowledge on this topic, why not explore the remainder of the resources from this infographic? For more information on ICC and how you can develop other digital skills as a migrant or refugee, why not check out the ICC Project website?